was at the CID headquarters reporting on a protest. He got angry, pulled me back, slapped me in the face. He pushed me into a crowd of other police officers who had guarded and it got crazy. They beat me with sticks, with their hands, with their boots, with the butt of the gun. They hit my head multiple times. I started smelling blood in my head and I spat and there was blood. Then the other police officer who came to rescue me took me outside. In fact, he he told them point blank that he's a journalist, but they wouldn't listen to him. My face had swollen and, and it came out that I had a fracture in my skull. And I'm only hoping that the perpetrators of this crime are brought to book. They face the law and then the court decides what kind of punitive action should be meted out to them. We have one of the safest environments for journalists to practice on the continent. And this assault has really emboldened the media and we are all demanding justice and respect for press freedom. The media is, is all of us, it's you, it's me. Because I go for the information, I give it to you, you read, you listen. So the media is all of us. Attack on the journalists, it's attack on the civilian population of the country. It's an attack on, I mean, the rule of law. It's an attack on democracy. It is unacceptable and I'm happy it's giving rise to journalists speaking about it and demanding justice. But I'm suffering for it. <laughs> but I'm happy it's generating a, a new conversation around the freedom of the press in Ghana.